Yo, partnership alert, partnership alert, partnership alert. Living Corporate has a partnership with LinkedIn Learning, an American massive open online course provider that provides video courses taught by industry experts across a wide array of subjects. Now, the partnership is because Living Corporate has courses on LinkedIn Learning focused on diversity, equity, inclusion for leaders, career professionals, and anyone really looking to upskill themselves and be better allies. So make sure you check out our courses on LinkedIn Learning by clicking the link in the show notes. And let's just say you don't want to do that. You go to LinkedIn Learning on LinkedIn, search Living Corporate. We'll be right there. All right. Peace. What's going on, Living Corporate? It's Tristan, and I want to thank you for tapping back in with me as I provide some tips and advice for professionals. Today, I want to introduce you to the idea of the on-demand workforce. Many companies have had to rethink their entire approach to finding and using talent. COVID-19 has forced many companies to move away from traditional pre-digital era talent models toward more on-demand workforce models. They've begun embracing a more flexible, blended workforce model that allows them to expand or contract their access to specialized, highly skilled workers as and when needed. Harvard Business School and Boston Consulting Group surveyed nearly 700 senior business leaders to better understand their use of new talent platforms. Specifically, how those companies were using digital talent platforms like Freelance, Upwork, and Fiverr to access highly skilled workers. They found that more than 30% of business leaders reported using new talent platforms extensively, while another 30% reported medium usage. Nearly 50% of the respondents expected their use of new digital platforms to significantly increase in the near future. Knowing this information, if you're a highly skilled worker who wants to stay productive and in the workforce while also managing your work-life priorities, this option may be a good fit for you. First, you'll need to do a little research to understand what skills you possess that are sought after in this type of talent market. For example, IT, HR, marketing, research and design, and strategic planning are some of the top functions sought out on digital talent platforms. If you have marketable or niche skills in those areas, a transition to more freelance or on-demand work may be easier than other job functions. Next you need to understand how to adequately market your skills on those digital talent platforms to attract top tier companies and organizations as clients of yours. While this type of work is not for everyone, it can be a great alternative for those who are having issues finding work during this time, don't wanna transition back into the office, or simply are tired of being tied to one company or organization. I'm going to link to the Harvard Business School article in the show notes on how companies can use digital talent platforms to transform their talent model, which should give you more insight on if you may want to make this transition. This tip was brought to you by Tristan of Layfield Resume Consulting. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Layfield Resume, or connect with me, Tristan Layfield, on LinkedIn.